Hello, Black Art in America family. Today we take you to the newly opened Gallery 8 in NYC to explore the newest exhibition, Harlem Perspectives, a show celebrating local artists living and working above Manhattan's 110th Street. I'm your host, your son Fuller, and this is Bio Talks. My name is uh, Richard Scarry, and um, we, I'm one of the three partners of Faction Art Projects. And we've now opened a, what some people see as rather impressive, but what we see as a beautiful, flexible space in Harlem, um, as our new home in New York City. And the idea of this space was to be able to open this gallery up to a, um, an interesting and eclectic group of people. And in this show, Harlem Perspectives, we actually put a lot of research into finding what's really happening in Harlem, and we wanted to find creators and makers and visionaries in Harlem. And in this show, we found 10 artists that are really doing kind of very extraordinary contemporary work in Harlem today. Of the 10 extraordinary artists exhibited, I was able to sit down with David Strobe and Elizabeth Columba to discuss their process and inspiration behind their work. I usually paint um black characters within a style of very traditional style, I would say, mm -hmm. referring like Dutch masters okay. and old masters. Um, and I carve like some sort of a different history for uh, black, uh, black characters as they're not really part of that, you know, art representation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, I use the same thing they used to use, which is, you know, um, metaphorical or allegorical, mythology, biblical. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes I also use uh, characters in history, um, like this one, for example, uh, who is inspired by real, real people, and mm -hmm. then I make a painting around it. Strobe, also a painter, incorporates family heirlooms and found materials into his work, often finding the materials in the very neighborhood the gallery is located, and also where he grew up. You know, for me, it's a lot about embracing those qualities, the like age and history, <laughs> and, and so the materials, because for me, they, they have such a rich history of, of usage and, 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 and kind of these previous um, functions, uh, they start to tell their own story on their own. And then when I start to merge that with, with painting and drawing and collage, uh, a new narrative starts to emerge that, that often is unexpected for me. So there is that sense of abstraction in a way. For more content, listen online at www.blackartinamerica.com. Harlem Perspective is open April 20th to May 13th. I'm your host, Jason Fuller, and thanks for watching. Bye Talks.